So you remember when uh, there was the kids at uh, AOC went down in her white and she cried about the kids in the in the cages, which was horrible. It is hor- that's a horrible thing. I'm not mocking that. I'm mocking. I'm going to mock the grandstanding of the people who did that, but only did that under Trump. And one of them is Rachel Maddow. Here she is reporting on it. And uh, and here's how she was handling it. (laughs) To at least three. We put up the graphic of this. Thank you. Do we have it? No. Three tender aid shelters in South Texas. Lawyers and medical providers. Just, I think I'm going to have to hand this off. Yeah. Sorry. That doesn't resonate. We'll see you again tomorrow. Now it is time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. See, she's a real human being. See, that was, that was, that was real, I guess. I'm, sp- I'm supposed to think that was real. Maybe it was. Uh, all I know is they're not doing it now. And things are worse. We just I just dropped a video today about Joe Biden's immigration and using Title 42 to export people. People are resigning from his administration over his immigration policy, saying it's inhuman. Joe Biden. And those cages just as full now as they were before, even more so. And now we find out that the U.S. and Mexico reached a deal to restart Trump era remain in Mexico program along the border. The Biden administration has reached a deal with the Mexican government to restart the Trump era remain in Mexico program that requires asylum seekers to wait outside U.S. territory while their claims are processed to U.S. officials and a Mexican government official said late Wednesday. The new iteration of the program will be fairly close to the previous version, said an official with knowledge of the plans. The Trump administration used the MPP program to return more than 60,000 asylum seekers across the border to Mexico, where they were often preyed upon by criminal gangs, extortionists and kidnappers. So it's people who have uh, a right to asylum in America. They wouldn't let them come to America and claim asylum. They would have to go back to Mexico, stay on the other side of the border until until their claim got processed. That's what I understand. President Biden denounced MPP as inhuman and quickly ended it after taking office, but Republican officials in Texas and Missouri sued the administration in federal court and won. They won an injunction in August forcing the government to resurrect the program. U.S. District Judge Matthew Kazmark ordered the Biden administration to restart MPP, faulting the White House for ending it without fully considering its consequences. In recent weeks, the administration has increased. In recent weeks, Joe Biden's administration has increased the percentage of migrants returned to Mexico or sent home on expulsion flights under Title 42 which generally does not afford asylum seekers a chance to apply for U.S. humanitarian protections. So he's using Title 42, Joe Biden is, which uh, is denies people their right to asylum. And the left was upset about it when Trump was doing it, and now Biden's doing it, and I don't hear anything. Although people have resigned from Joe Biden's administration over this. I don't see Rachel Maddow crying. The return of MPP is awkward for the Biden administration, which is still formally preparing to end the program, even after it brings it back under court order. MPP had endemic flaws, imposed unjustifiable human costs, pulled resources and personnel away from other priority efforts, and did not address the root causes of irregular migration. Homeland Security Sec- Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said in, oct- in an October statement. I think all this is true. MPP not only undercuts the administration's ability to implement critical, needed, and foundational changes to the immigration system, it fails to provide the fair process and humanitarian protections that individuals deserve under law. That is true. Uh, Over 110 Democrats call for immediate end of the Remain in Mexico policy. Look at that. 
Uh, first thing, AOC calls Kamala Harris's comments to Guatemalan migrants disappointing. Remember when she said don't come? Right? Isn't that what she, she said it to? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and human rights groups speak out against the vice president telling migrants not to come to the U.S. What I think is interesting here is that part. Plus, Benifer is back. What the F? Why would you put that in there? Is that nuts? Yes. Let me, I think Malcolm bro, uh, uh, let me see. No, I don't have it. Son of a gun. So remember when Rachel Maddow heard that kids were being kept in shelters at the border during the Trump administration. Good thing she doesn't pay attention to the border situation now. She might die of a broken heart. I think this is America Ferrero on the uh, the View, and she's upset about this too. Here, I am so disappointed mm -hmm. in Joe Biden's decision, not only to to allow it to be re-implemented, but to expand on it. Because the whole story is that he's actually including more people, mm -hmm. uh, particularly Haitians and Jamaicans, in this new implementation. <clears throat> so not only is this a broken campaign promise, this is an incredible disappointment that will put tens of thousands of people in real danger. And and Joe Biden should be doing everything but, in his but, power. But, but, but I mean, my information promise. is that he's acting under a court order. Yeah, to do yes, it but way. it's not the court order God. isn't for him to expand it. He's he's not just implementing. He's expanding. They started to. Yeah, and he won't stop using Title 42. To deny people asylum. And export them in an inhuman way. And she's right. And she's right. Look, and did at, you see how Joy was going to push back at her? Immediately interrupts her as she's talking about immediately that. Immediately defends the administration. Joy, 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 what's her name? Behar. Yeah. I used to really like Joy Behar, and uh, I like this anyway. Anyway, who who cares who I like? Uh. So. Again, with, with the idea that you voted for Joe Biden because of immigrants, we've already showed you that Barack Obama and Joe Biden deported almost almost double the amount of Hispanic immigrants that Donald Trump did. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, we've showed you that before. I just again, I've dropped a video today about immigration that talks all about it. So, okay, well. Things are worse. As she said, he's expanding it. Things are worse for immigrants under Joe Biden. There you go. And Joe Biden's administration also went to court. In California, they passed a law. You can't use private prisons to house immigrants. They went to court to overturn that law. Joe Biden did. <laughs> Hey, come see one of our live stand-up shows December 10th or 17th or New Year's Eve at the Two Roads Theater in Studio City, California. See you there. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com for a link for all tickets.